So you and I are the only humans here. These other people, well, they're not even people. They're AI avatars that companies use to make training videos and educational videos and things like that. Well, criminals are trying to enlist them into their criminal gangs, their criminal armies. So now we are going to take a look at the fight to try to keep these quasi people from the dark side. I'm looking forward to helping you create videos. This is Noah, an AI avatar from Synthesia. We wanted to find out if Venezuela is... But he also served as a fake newscaster, spreading propaganda in support of Venezuela's authoritarian regime last year. So how true is it that Venezuela is such a poor country? Hey, I'm Darren. So did Noah's co-worker, Darren. The 2023 Caribbean series was organized this year in Venezuela. Hey. hey. AI colleagues Alex and Jason did stints as propagandists for China. There have been more than 600 mass shootings in the United States this year. Hey. hey. And an entire crew was enlisted to support the coup leader in the African country of Burkina Faso. Homeland or death, we shall overcome. Synthesia told us how it happened. One of the things that uh, we hadn't accounted for was people creating, in some cases, factual content that was then used to polarize communities uh, or polarize a particular country. The company says it already had measures in place to moderate content. But after these avatar hijackings last year, they tightened them even further. For example, in the past, you could use the stable of stock avatars to make news-like reports as long as they were factual. Now, you can't use them for any news-like videos at all because of misuse. Political content is out for stock avatars as well. The majority of our customers are Fortune 500 type companies. Those are the uh, companies and the people we want to do business with. We're not interested in, in sort of uh, monetizing our platform for, for harmful purposes. I'm Gary. Criminals snagged avatars for more than just propaganda. They restyled Gary as a fake CEO of a cryptocurrency company, according to investigators with the state of California. Start your free trial now. Other and platforms have had problems as well. Presentations, sales. This video host from AI company DID showed up in YouTube videos to trick people into downloading malware, stealing passwords and money, researchers said. Can I make a fake bank statement to get a loan? She's also hosting a channel offering up fake bank statements. Get a fake bank statement PDF from us today. This DID avatar also promotes shady deals, like a get-rich-quick scheme in Portuguese. A ganhar cinco mil euros por mês. And a fake money giveaway on TikTok. Cash App is giving away $750, and you are just a click away from claiming it. DID's site says it prohibits dishonest and illegal content, conducts random audits of content as well, and has a watermark that customers are not allowed to remove without permission. Synthesia says it added stricter moderation, tools designed to uncover criminal activity, looking beyond keywords, and they added more people to moderate. The use guidelines lay out a detailed system of what videos you can make with which kinds of avatars. The company also looks for videos on the web to see if they are later harnessed into disagreeable content. If you break the rules, your account could get banned with no refunds of your money. Just because uh, you, know, you catch them today doesn't mean they're going to stop tomorrow. Alexandru Voika with Synthesia says they hired a team to test their new defenses, setting out to make videos that cross the line. Gambling, bullying, misinformation, conspiracy theories. The results, according to Synthesia, out of many attempts, one problematic video got through. It was flagged by the automatic moderator, but the human moderator approved it in error. Doing content moderation, especially doing content moderation at scale, is, um, is quite complicated. It's not, it's not easy. Synthesia says now it's tightened moderation even further and found evidence that some criminals on the dark web took notice, possibly moving on to other platforms where they can get their money back. We're never going to be able to do this alone. Alexandru says he wants other AI companies to join in to keep the crooks and propagandists at bay. Homeland or death, we shall overcome. To keep the faith in AI. Hi, I'm Blake. 
and AI avatars. Lifetime guarantee देते हैं. So this is not how you spend your time with your new digital counterparts. Go to my bio and tap the link within the next three seconds to grab your seven hundred and fifty dollars. And it takes the entire industry to、uh, to get better at at preventing this type of content from being created. At this point, you may be asking, well, how can I tell the difference between a real person and a fake, a deep fake, or an AI person? And there are ways. I do have some videos on this channel about how you can do that. But for now, the most important thing is to fall back on the basics. What is this person trying to get me to do? Could that thing hurt me? Can I verify it? And if I can't, don't do it. I'm Carrie Tomlinson for Ampere News.